All righty, it's time. We are going to whack the lid on this thing. Uh, first things first, by the, by the tell of the smoke that's going on, <laughs> I've been trying to heat up and uh, loosen the upper hinges to uh, get this window open so I can try to get the screws off. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to come out or they're not going to cooperate, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be drilling and tapping all the fixtures again, but whatever. Not a big deal. But before we start uh, bracing the cab and doing everything else, I want to get the window out. So I got to get all the screws out. I had to get the window to actually come away and, and out like it's supposed to, so we've managed to do that. Now I got to try to get all the screws off. We'll get the window frame out. Then we'll do some quick bracing in the cab. I mean, we did brace up the floor and the bottom, so we're, uh, the bottom is 100%, but we want to do uh, the door gap, like the door opening, and X cross, just so nothing moves, does any weird stuff. We are uh, probably going to be going with probably about a six inch chop. That's the plan. And I think I'm only going to take about four inches out of the back window. So that means we're going to be four into here and then we're going to be dropping the window. That is the full deal and plan. I'm not 100% how I'm going to chop yet. Well, I know what I'm doing because we're going to have to split the roof. I like to do it in the back near this crown because it's easier to make a piece that's curvy. If you got to do body work, it's easier to do it on a curve than it is somewhere flat. I know a lot of people go through the middle. I like to come across and then snake it. it gives me something to line up and then you'll see. I will show you while we go here. But task at hand, we got to get this front window off.
All right, well, we got her all braced up. We got our X, our doors. We got, I didn't measure out the doors because what I'm basically gonna do is just whack them. I'll do the roof and then just make the doors fit nicely to the, uh, the new top. So basically we'll deal with it after kind of thing. Uh, we're kind of doing a little bit of a step thing. So I got a little bit of a lineup here. Plus I wanted to keep this little bump stop, even though it's going to be like down here somewhere. Uh, back here, we're going to take our four out of the, the rear window. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just cut this and then I'll slide the window down into there after. And then we can kind of do the old button cut at that point over there. Uh, the top of the roof and stuff, we'll deal with that after once she's uh, chopped down. But other than that, yeah, it's going to be a pretty aggressive chop. But So there's going to be quite the stretch happening. When this thing goes down, I don't even know if this pillar is going to touch anything at that point. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm, yeah, there's lots. You can use saws all, you can do anything. I'm just going to use like a big 7-inch zip cut. So that's pretty much going to be my chance. What I am going to use, pretty big, can get in everywhere I need. I don't know. Enough yakking, eh? Let's cut this sucker up. Well, I may have gone really aggressive right out of the box. The front window is just too small. <laughs> like I dig the back. The back is like, well, when it's in place, it's like a five inch window. That's kind of cool. The front though is just a little bit too small. The side profile is not bad. I think it's just, Overall, too hammered. I don't know. I have to sit and think about it. I'm going to put the window back in and it's going to function. But boy, is it going to be small. I sat in it. I can see fine. But, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. 
I should have maybe went with the five and then see if I like that and then cut another inch out. So mental note to you folks. Holy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I think it looks cool, but it also looks too hammered for the rest of the car. Like the visuals just don't do it justice. Yeah, that front window is just not right. <clears throat> well, I made a whole lot of work for myself. Oh well, live and learn. Usually I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let me put some slivers of steel in and then we'll see how that looks. We'll see what five inches looks like. I got a funny feeling it's going to be the magic number for it. I think it'll be um, much more appealing, like the overall vehicle will look better that way. Because you also have to imagine there's a window frame to go on here yet. So I like the side profile, like that looks awesome. You know, the funny part is I photoshopped this and I thought this six inch looked killer. I should have, uh, like with the posts, with the door posts, it looked awesome. But I think uh, I should have done a front shot and uh, I would have known that the window was too small. I just did a side profile. So that's a lesson that I've just learned. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Let me mock this up. And then uh, we'll see. Well, it looks like I'm going to be gluing a whole lot of stuff back in. <laughs> I think this one just looks better. Like it looks chopped, like pretty heavily chopped, but it's not so crazy. The front window looks good. I love the side. It's just if I could fix the front windshield and make it a little bigger, man, that'd be awesome. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to sit and think about this because I'm, uh, I'm on the fence. I'm going to sleep on it and uh, see what I think. See what I think. I think I, <laughs> I think I jumped the gun and just went a little too aggressive. If I had a way to raise the window and it didn't look goofy to the rest of the car, but, or truck, but I think if you raise, uh, just uh, not happening. I can't see it. Oh well. Hey, you live and learn. Anyways, maybe I'll figure this out tomorrow. Get a better idea. All right, so you watch me split the roof. I had to do this regardless. I'm just doing it so I can get a better feel of what's all going on here. I'm still so mixed on it. I dig the six inch chop, but I hate the front window that looks like it belongs on a tank or something. It's just so, ugh. So anyways, I kind of mocked this up. I'm still liking the side shot profile. Like it looks awesome, but uh, it's the front window. So I've taken the dash off. The upper part of the dash actually comes off. And uh, I'm thinking my plan is I'm actually going to drop and maybe section the dash, drop it down. And this front part, see this is the part that really wrecks the front for me is this weird slope. So I think I got about an inch, inch and a quarter. If I can get this to just flow 
like just a slight little kink. I can get myself an inch, almost an inch and a half if I brought this down to like the cowl. To which then gives me another inch of window, which that ends up looking right. It would actually look way better with the smaller windows on the sides, so. Yeah, I'm thinking it's an insane amount of work, but I think it'll really bring out the uh, look of the car here, or truck. So, what I gotta do now is just prep everything. I'm gonna tack everything together up here. I'll tack a bar or something in here. And then a guy can uh, at least knock the bracing loose. And then, I don't know, I guess we cut this out. I don't know if this is separate from the dash, but uh, like I wanna keep the dash in there. So we'll see how it goes. I'll either separate this from here and then drop the column and the dash stuff or I'll uh, basically cut the whole dash loose and drop the whole dash. We'll see which one works out better for me. But I think if I get myself another inch or so out of here, I pretty much won the lottery. So if I can get that done and there's a few bits on the roof all zapped together a bit, that means I can pull this structural bracing out and then we can get a better feel where, where we're at everywhere here. Alrighty, well we uh, kind of semi-aggressively tacked it all in place. Pretty good. We got the front, the back, done. Up here, it's a little, I think when this comes in you can see some weirdness over here. So we'll have to do some reshaping right there. We do have our brace in here, it's just vice gripped in, not a biggie. This is zapped down. So overall, I'm really liking the side profile with this chop. It's just the front window is the thing that's really not working for me. So I think the plan is gonna be, we're gonna do a cut, I don't know, somewhere around here. I don't know if I'm gonna come. Yeah, maybe I'll run a tape mark across here and I'm just gonna cut across. I wanna go a halfway medium Bring this down. If I can get an inch, should be plenty because an inch was what looked like it needed. If I can get more, that's a bonus. 
And then whatever, the pieces I cut out, I have all the bits to try to make some stuff up over here. So problem with this though, is I got to do this and I'm going to have to cut the dash loose and set it down. We'll see what I do after there. If, um, if I can leave the dash down or I'm going to have to section the top and raise it back up. It'll be based dependent on my steering there. But anyways, let's, uh, well, I'll disconnect my steering column and then, I don't know, let's just blindly cut stuff and see what happens here. Oh, I never did show these. You might have seen me using these. It's just because I had a flush cut. I was uh, using it to hold the metal straight. If you've never seen these, they're, uh, I don't know, I think I got mine from Harbor Freight way back. They're pretty cool. Uh, if you look at it, the design's pretty simple. Like, you could probably just make it yourself, but... All it is is uh, it's got a little flat piece of sheet metal -y thing goes through the panel and then uh, you drop this block into there and now it fits between the panel and gives you this little gap like that and then you snug it up and it pulls the tie panels tight so they're nice and straight. Oh man, I think we win here. I think that is the ticket. It got rid of that ugly bubbliness down there. I think we're, uh, I think we're good. I think we can stick with our six inch chop here. Wasn't sure how this was gonna work out, but you know, in the end, it is steel, so. If I screw up, I can just put it back. So if you're gonna go here, might shave it a little bit more just to get a little more, but right now an inch of gap seems to be money. If we can bring that in. I don't think that does too much to the dash, but I might still raise stuff up inside. I'll probably, if I can get this out, I'll pull it out. I'll raise up my dash like I need, and then we'll deal with it from there, but. This is looking good. This is looking like what I've, looking like what we needed here. It wasn't too bad. I just cut the side of the dash free. I don't know if you've seen that. I just cut both sides free. I know they bolt in from the back, but I'll just blaze it in and it'll be a permanent fixture, so that's not a big deal. Like I say, it goes down a bit. It's just my steering is going to be a little screwy if I don't raise that up. So I might just take off of there, suck it back in, and we should be good. I like it. I think that's right. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to see if I can pull that out so I can, I guess, section my dash. I guess that'd be the right way to say it. Bring it up my inch or so. And then uh, I guess we start making a bunch of fillers and things like that.
I tried welding the dash on. Well, I just tacked it on. It's just not working well for me. So I took it off. We are going to uh, basically just, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull the windshield tight up here. I can get it down a little bit lower and it'll still look good. It gives me way more windshield. I think symmetrically, all the windows are gonna look the same. So it won't have a weird look to it in my eyes. I kind of got this window down to where the bottom is and then the front one is kind of like somewhat symmetrical to the side glass. So if that makes sense. <laughs> Anywho, my plan is to, um, I'm going to get the da this window frame in. I uh, will zap it in. We will then take uh, somewhere my chop bits that I took out of these uh, A-pillars. So we'll kind of rip, nope, not those. We will rip some of this apart and uh, use it in here. This right? Yeah. Use some of that in there. Fix all this stuff up. Because we're going to have to do some weird slice and dice here and kind of make things line up. Because you can see where this one is and this one isn't. Nothing lining up right now. So we're going to have to find a happy medium for everything. And then this one, I want to come down. So I'm going to clean this up a little more. I'm going to figure this out because I think I did a little bit more. If I grab my tape measure, we'll see how much we sunk that thing into the cowl. So about an inch and a quarter, I think is the magic number. We're gonna dump that in there. So I'll clean this up more. We're gonna do like Fitzy's little uh, cutting butt across the middle there. We'll get this all done, squared up, and then I guess I'm gonna go into the car and we'll figure out the dash after the fact. But that's a much bigger window opening. So that'll look good with the side and that little, it's not quite a mail slot, but we're gonna have a, a five inch back window when it's said and done. So it's not quite mail slot because this is gonna come down. It'll be a nice size window in the back. It's gonna have a really awesome hot rod look to it, I think. But uh, first things first, clean that up, slice, dice, get her together. Yeah, I don't know. A little more work than I thought, but I think the uh, outcome is going to be way, way worth it. We got the bottom welded in, welded in, cleaned up. It's pretty good for what it is. Uh, it's about where I'm going to call it tonight. We'll have to deal with all of this tomorrow and uh, see where we go from there. Uh, I think I'd like to at least in this video finish up this front A pillars and get this front window frame all done. I think that'll be my goal for the rest of this video here. There's still a bunch to do, so we got to do here and a bunch on the inside. So we'll get that tied up, and then uh, 
I bet you on the next one we'll kind of get the rest of the roof all done. I'd like to get it all done in one video, but I think it would be a really long video. This one's probably run along because I couldn't make up my mind up to this point. So, uh, going to take what we can get. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I think I'm done for tonight. Uh, till tomorrow. Matter. Hmm? What's the matter? All right. What have we learned from this? Uh, don't go crazy and cut all your junk up first. <laughs> uh, okay. What did I learn? There was a ton of lead in there, and I didn't know that. So when I did my first cut, it was going to be that little sliver I was going to put in. Well, actually, it was like down here somewhere. Then I realized all the all the uh, what do you call it? Lead. And then it's, I guess, where the cab was all seamed up. I guess in hindsight, the amount of stuff I boogered together there, I probably could have just as well left that. But So I took it out, and now I blotched in two pieces. Uh, it still needs more work. I got to do a little more welding inside, stuff like that. But overall, this is good. I still got to do the welding up in here, because I wanted to stretch it out to kind of get it semi-straight. That was kind of the plan. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. 
it's going to get some bondo on it, so that'll fix it. <laughs> it's plenty strong. You can see I cut it back. I welded the inner structure back together, and then I put the top back on it, even though it is a multi-piece. Eh, whatever. In the end, you won't see it. If you stand back here, it looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do similar, but not screw this up so bad. First, I'm gonna hit this and see how bad the lead is, and then I'll make my filler piece how I should have done the other side. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. This should go a lot quicker. Like I say, gotta practice on the passenger side first. That's where you learn all your mistakes. Mistakes were made, now I know, for the next one. Which, who knows when that'll be, but... Uh, okay, well, let's just jet through this and then uh, we're gonna call her a video because I think uh, I'm gonna take a, a much needed uh, break after this. So I got all the welding finished. It's all dressed. It's pretty much like ready for body work. I do have a little bit of rot on the inside. I'm gonna fix that up when I do the garnish moldings inside. So uh, yeah, I pretty much succeeded what my goal was for this video. Well, I don't know if this was my goal, but this is as far as I got. <laughs> um, hopefully in the next video, my plan is to get the rest of the shop finished. So. It should be get my window frames done, get this piece made. We'll kind of make that panel. This roof is pretty rough, so I'm gonna make the panel. Hopefully I can get it with a planishing hammer. We can kind of smooth it out. And then we're gonna finish up this back part and get the rear window in. But I think we didn't do too bad for our, for our chop. I think the overall uh, look is a win. But until the next video, as always, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you folks on the next one. Later. <laughs>